Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another video. I am so happy to be doing a sit down video. I plan on doing more sit down videos. Let's just see how it goes. And um, yeah, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the video. What's that about? I was gonna say welcome back to the vlog. But yeah, welcome back. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for clicking to watch this video. This is actually the best best place you can be on your on youtube so you do want to consider subscribing and joining the gang so yeah do not leave this video without subscribing yeah in fact subscribe right now mm -hmm. hit the subscribe button hit the like button so you know interact in the comments wow like the view from up here it is so gorgeous like there's just something about the mix of the fall colors like the fading green colors of the trees or the orange color of some of the leaves the yellow the pink oh my goodness fall is arguably the be most beautiful season hands down i love fall we are well into fall season like i said and that means something <laughs> that means that winter is coming and we need to be prepared we need to be pre we need to be prepared and i had someone ask me in one of my videos in one of my videos to share some tips to surviving winter yeah given that i already experienced it you know so I think for sure I have some tips to share. I noted a few down here, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys. By the way, I would like to say a big thank you to the person who left this video suggestion. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. You do not know how much. So let us get right into the video. So I'm filming this video at a time where it's October and Calgary already beat everyone to it. They already had the first snow of the season. Ah, and this is like the same thing that happened last year. I remember sometime in October. I being a Nigerian, you know, from from the truck, the only um knowledge I had about winter was that it started in it starts in December, right? So I thought snow and all of that is only gonna start in December. But last year when we had just landed we got we saw on on social media that calgary was the first to see you know the first season snow and that was in october and i remember if you've been watching my videos from like last year you will recall that i was so terrified because we had just landed we had just secured our apartment we were still trying to settle in still we were totally on a budget at that time I had not gotten my winter jacket <laughs> so i was so scared that the snow was going to eat me and or eat us and we will not be prepared however thankfully ontario did not record its first snow until november which is still quite early because it's not december but yeah we had our first snow in november i remember that day i went for a job interview again if you recall that particular episode of the vlog let me know in the comment section <laughs> i went in for the interview came out everywhere was covered in snow and of course i was i dressed corporately thankfully i had like just like a trench coat uh i had the screen touch gloves i didn't even know why i took those but i had that and i wore my regular flat shoes so coming out everywhere was covered in snow i had to walk cautiously because otherwise i could sleep and fall on the road by the roadside my hands were freezing because the touch screen gloves were could not do it like it was chaotic <laughs> like literally people were going into the stores to buy emergency emergency jackets because nobody was prepared literally nobody now i am doing this video to just let you know some things that will help you to avoid such a chaos okay so let us get on with the rest of the video number one point is 
to get your winter gears ready if you just landed the first thing you should be buying forget plates forget whatever the first thing you should be buying is your winter jacket especially if you're landing in october you're landing in october or in november you need to get your winter gear talk i'm talking your winter jacket your winter boots um your thermal socks your thermal inner wears you know just all the gears the gear muffs the head warmers touch screen gloves and your meetings now i said touch screen gloves and meetings because sometimes you might just want to you know use your phone the meet the touch screen gloves come in handy at these times but you cannot use just your touch screen gloves because they are not designed to protect you from like the extreme cold it's just to protect you while you text for a little bit or while you use your map to navigate your commute so make sure you get your touch screen gloves and your meetings or your actual winter gloves right actually I think also winter is actually such a beautiful season like just imagine just look out and everywhere is white i actually love it that's why i said fall is arguably the most beautiful because i know that i'm still going to say the same thing about winter and don't even get me started about the summer <laughs> so yeah just take take it as i give it okay so now i I am so excited like i said about winter and that's because and i'm saying this so that nobody gets you know on the edge i don't think you should be nervous don't be nervous about it all you just need to do is get the necessary items and you are good winter gears are a must have if you are financially buoyant you can get different ones you can get the dress down ones that coat you know for the fashionable ones you know and then you need to get the proper waterproof um winter jacket that that protects you from the actual snow when it falls your jacket is resistant to the melting snow that is that was the type that i got and um i would suggest you check places like winners um marshalls those places they have like a collection of high-end um jackets at affordable prices yes up and i we got the tommy ilfiger jacket i got if you remember i got like this big oversized jacket i actually shopped mine from the men's section just in case i want to layer up um i just did not want to buy regular feminine ones that might not be able to accommodate large sweaters when i put them on so i got that and i actually did get that because i was so terrified about the snow which brings me to this point where i tell you if you're going to be living in toronto for example or ontario in general then you can actually get away with regular winter jackets you don't need something too serious because the winter out here is not as bad as what you would get up north so the winter was not as bad in fact i know a colleague of mine that never actually wore proper winter jackets yes and i know our cold tolerance is obviously different from mine but it just goes to show that the winter is not terrible but as a newcomer you know we are not used to this type of cold. extreme for us so just come prepared get you maybe a minus 25 degree celsius jacket if you're going to be in ontario and then you're good if you're going to be up north maybe you're going to be in calgary and those other places saskatchewan then maybe you need like a minus 40 degrees um jacket still on the point of dressing up i think if you live in toronto especially you can really get away with just layering up you can get away with not wearing the you know actual thermal inner wears and all of that and wearing any regular jacket i did put on my thermal leggings 
I think once or twice when I was going to work, that was when we recorded like the highest level of cold. I think it got to about minus 39 or thereabout. Speaking from the point of view of last year's winter, it wasn't so bad. So yeah, don't be scared because you will get through it. It's In fact, you're going to love it because I, in my honest opinion, I prefer the cold to the heat. If you do not have any business transiting during the heavy snow period, just stay back at home, especially when there's a snowstorm warning in effect. Please stay at home, keep yourself safe, keep other commuters safe, you know, just stay at home and don't go out. If you have a car and you do not have underground parking, or even though you have underground parking in your house, you might drive to work and then while at work it snows and you come out and your car is covered in snow you might need certain tools which is which you should get you need to get the old kit you need to get the shovel the snow scrapers the um you need to get salt snow dissolvers all that jazz you need to stock up on them and have them in your boots in case of emergency you might even want to get like a car starter that helps you start up your car quicker during the colder months always check your weather app guys your weather app and your google maps are going to be like the two your two most frequently used app at this point once you land <laughs> after your social media apps of course um so you want to make sure before you head out, you that you check your map just to know what to expect during the day, how to dress up, even though sometimes it's confusing. It just helps just to give you an idea of how to dress up and then you're not hit by a surprise snowfall and all of that. <laughs> so yeah, if I remember the same story that I will reference. That was the day that I went out for my interview. That day, I did check my Google map. And being that I'm new to this stuff, I thought that for between 40 to 60% chance of snow meant it would not snow so much if at all it snowed. So I wore, you know, just a trench coat, a thick trench coat, actually. I wasn't cold in that regard, but my shoes and my hand, and my gloves, were not appropriate like they were not appropriate at all like this was crazy as like more than i thought it would be like i thought it was just going to be like light snow but i came out everyone was covered and then some people had to go buy emergency jackets you don't want to be eaten by caught by surprise and having to stop by a store that's most probably going to be expensive and then you're spending coins that i had to come by for what you actually have at home right so you want to make sure that you check your weather app every single day before you head out bulk food purchase if you can afford to that is if you can afford to maybe by virtue of space and your finances if you can afford to stock up then do so it's just going to save you the um the stress of commuting when there's heaps of snow outside you know you already have this thing stocked up in your fridge or your freezer so you don't necessarily need to make the journey to the grocery stores coupled with the fact that do before the winter months some food items are available at more cheaper prices example is your tomatoes your peppers if you can afford emphasis on afford because for some of us when we first land you can't afford to you know stock up to a large extent maybe you do not have space to you do not have money to do that or you do not have a deep freezer yeah that was my case before uh or maybe you landed when these boxes of tomatoes are no longer available do not fret these things are going to be available all year round at the stores the only downside is that they will be a little more pricey than when you get them before the winter time okay so no pressure and the next point that i'm going to be talk, share, talking about is not talked about much as much that is the old static shock thing that is attributable to the winter month 
now i remember i had to watch it on youtube ot love train to be precise they had talked about it back then i was still in nigeria and we we're like static shock guys it is so real it is so real and it's so annoying that my husband even had to like find a way around it i figured that when i wore a particular pair of sneakers of mine i would always experience static shock at work no so i decided to just wear the pa pa this part because they were my only pair of sneakers so i would wear them to get to work and when i got to work i would switch over to my actual work shoe that was how i worked my way around that i noticed that when i don't have those pair of sneakers on like i don't feel the static shocks they are so bad that when you touch on certain surfaces it's, you just feel the shock and then when you're <laughs> when you just you know have contact with someone sometimes you feel the shock sometimes you even hear the sound of it it is so annoying just when i go to the restroom i want to like turn on the tap i feel it like oh. so it kind of gets makes you away all the time and it, it actually puts this uh, phobia of touching things in my mind so i don't actually like it or be on the other hand i had to buy these anti-static shock bracelets from amazon so if you think you might want to get that or you might be needing that then go ahead and check it out i never knew such a thing would exist but it actually does exist and it actually helped my husband get through the static shock episode <laughs> next and the last and final tip that i'm going to give is just enjoy every moment of it because in no time after six long months it's all going to be over um just make sure you try and enjoy it soak it all in and just appreciate that you're even able to experience it that is how i managed to you know scale through and i was not frustrated by the transit and all of that yes i would complain but then in the midst of complaining i'm like laughing at myself and just laughing at the mess that i'm in when i'm you know stuck somewhere because the trains are out of service it's just a beautiful chaos if i must add so um i think just appreciating every moment of it it's also going to help you feel less frustrated by the actual things that are going on you know around you you know and also by so doing you're not going to be a chronic complainer please don't be a chronic complainer because we have those type of people that they will always complain they will just keep complaining and then you just find that you're just complaining you're complaining moments that you could actually be soaking in and enjoying are just passing you by so don't be a chronic complainer. Enjoy every bit of the snow. Go outside to the park. There's always a park near. There would surely be a park near your neighborhood. So go out. Make a snowman. I did not do that this past winter. But I'm for sure going to try and do that this winter. So just go out. Enjoy it. If Even though you're just going to stay by your window and just soak it in. Soak it in enjoy every bit of it because in no time it's going to be all gone i mean you know stock up on your teas your hot chocolate so when you come back after a long day of commuting through the snow you just come and just relax you know with a nice cup of hot chocolate you know turn on your favorite show see guys it's the simple things of life or really you come back home there's like it's not that you come back from work after a long day and there's no light at home there will surely be light i just come back sometimes when obi and i meet halfway because you know our transit system was just messed up we'll meet halfway and come home and make hot, um, a cup of hot chocolate each and we'll just unwind with that it's literally the simple things of life um i think we shouldn't take for granted so yeah that is all the tips that i've got to share if you are new in canada and you're just about to experience your first winter let me know what your utmost fear is in the comments and if you've been here for so long you've experienced not just one but several winters let us know what stands out for you every single time and if you have extra tips to share please let us know 
in the comment section and we'll be glad to interact with you as well thank you so much for watching guys please do not forget to leave a comment do not forget to like the video and share it as well subscribe if you're yet to and i'll catch you on another video soon bye